Porik O'Hora, I think, exemplified the meat or the Mayo spirit. I wish it was the meat spirit, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was a true warrior and a selfless worker for the team in the way he marked Kieran Kilkenny. And that sort of spirit, I think, ran through the subs that James uh, Horton brought on. And I think fellas like Enda Hessian did a lot in Jordan Flynn. And Tommy Conroy and Ryan O'Donoghue came right into the game. Paddy Dirk and Lee Keegan. They were all brilliant. I actually thought Mayo had no chance before the start. I thought they had less chance at half time. But I'm glad to be here when history has been made. I was here when Dublin won six in a row. And all empires crumbled, the Greeks, the Romans, and now the Dubs. So it's wonderful that Mayo have done it. But I do hope now that they go on and win the All-Ireland. Obviously, people uh, to most will go back to the idea that Dublin are coming back to the pack, that they're on the slide, they're missing a, a huge number of players, all of which is obviously correct. But Mayo still have to go out there and do the business and remember what they were like at half-time and normal time as well. Yeah, Colm alluded to it there. In that first half, Dublin had scored seven points from turnovers. Mayo flipped that on its side the next half and they got eight points from turnovers. I think that was the winning of the match. It was phenomenal. Cora said there, Dublin got one point in all of extra time. I think that flurry of points from Tommy Conroy, Darren Cohen and Ryan O'Donoghue straight at the start of extra time was phenomenal. James Horne, what a manager, Joanne. Like, every single time, there's no complaints. Going in with arguably two, or without Oshie Mullen, Killeen O'Connor, your two best players and still turning out a performance. Yes, the, Dub the Dublin team were indisciplined at times, coughed up so much possession, uh, but to be six down in against the Dublin team, who were all Ireland champions for so long, and I tell you the best thing, I know O'Hora was very emotional, the respect between those two teams. I was watching them on the final whistle when Dublin were great champions, unbelievable champions, but it's a great sign of a team that when they went down, they stayed out in that pitch and they were all shaking hands and they were going at each other's throats throughout that game. But they were shaking hands in the middle of the pitch and I think uh, hats off to Dublin there as well because it always tells a good sign of a team how they lose and uh, what an occasion. I mean, we all knew it would happen. I didn't think it would happen today, but uh, what a win for Mayo and O'Hora gave a, an unbelievable interview as oh, well, to be fair. Oh, did he just? That